Take me to the first meeting with Dara. Where was it? How did it go down? It was both Dara and Travis. And Dara had just joined or was going to join. And Magus and I met uh, both of them in Riyadh. And the contrast between them was, was day and night. The approach that Travis had was that, I'm going to kill you. I don't need you. You're just a nuisance. And Dara just showed so much more respect. He mentioned his links to the region. He asked questions, why are we doing it? What are we doing it? What is our vision? Someone that was heading a company whose name was a four-letter word at Kareem. There were people at Kareem that would not wear black because uh, that color was black. The thing that really made it happen at the end was Dara saying that you guys can continue pushing your purpose, keep your culture, keep your org. I'm just going to replace your shareholders and become a better shareholder. This was the best of all worlds. Our shareholders get an exit. Our colleagues do well. The region gets an exit, which it needs for the ecosystem to start running forward. How many millionaires were made from Kareem sales, speaking of the Kareem mafia? I think in dollar terms, there were 75 millionaires. It was a, it was a good exit uh, for, for many colleagues at Kareem. Is there anything that you would have done very differently? Do you have any regrets? I wish we could have done more for our captains as a part of the exit process. You know, Kareem was built by these captains. Uh, and, and we are close to many of them. And if I look at them today, they're still doing what they were doing 10 years ago. And that saddens me a little bit. So many people at Kareem have done quite well. They've grown and they've progressed in life as a result of these last 10 years. But the captains, which were the foundations of Kareem, which were the ones that taught us how to build this business, in many cases are still where they were 10 years ago. 